Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Test Drive. Today we're in a Soto Corsa online for a quick six lap race around Mugello, getting ready for the start. Now we have managed to start in third position. Um, that was without qualifying. No, sorry, starting from fourth position. Now this is going to be a six lap race in the Mazda MX-5 Cup cars. I'm not really familiar or uh, used to these cars. I still kind of am uh, learning them. So into the first corner. We're just going to see and uh, cross our fingers that we are going to keep this uh, car uh, together and uh, not make any errors and hopefully challenge these two lead cars possibly for an overtake within the next uh, lap or two. I am always, I am always a little bit quicker in the opening uh, laps. Not sure if that's due to tyre temperatures or um, the uh, tyre pressures that I'm uh, running. As you can see, already starting to just uh, crawl or make up a little bit of ground on this second place. MX-5 through the really fast right left handers pretty much my favorite uh, section of the course can be taken with just a slight lift we're not going to attempt to make the move down the inside there just not enough uh, just not a big enough braking zone we are also making a bit of ground away from the fourth position car. So yeah, six laps around Mugello um, in this Mazda MX-5 Cup car. Now this car, I think, is putting out around 160 horsepower in a fairly light shell. 900 kilos. And it is a real popular uh, category or class in the world of motorsport. I know that you are able to pick up one of these cars quite cheaply and go racing. I know they do have a, uh, a sealed engine, sealed transmission. So if you're wanting to get into racing on a somewhat cheap level uh, playing field, definitely an interesting way to go. But around the outside here, into the first corner, are we going to be able to outbreak and make up a position? Yes, we are. Now we're just going to try and hold our racing line. Still is still on the on our right hand side, but we've got the inside line into this left right chicane, and we do get a little bit sideways as well. The car just unsettling there, so we have made up a position. A nice overtake, and uh, my prediction of the of my tyres, um, just having a little bit more grip in that uh, in that first opening lap. I'm just going to really cross my fingers and hope that tyres just hold together into this very fast right hand. It's just going to lift, and we've got the leading car has gone off. So that um, that fast right hander taking a victim seems to be quite a common area where uh, you see a lot of cars going off this section can we take it flat out without lifting yes we can so the Mazda MX-5 definitely having a lot of grip over the over the uh, rumble strip onto the curbing and using all of the track on the exit now the real question is are we going to be able to hold off this chase car are we going to be able to drive a somewhat clean consistent line heading down now into the final corner somewhat late in a car getting a lot of understeer now the other thing about this car as well is that it does seem to have so much um, so much grip to carry a lot of the a lot of the speed through the corner but because it doesn't have a lot of power you do often find yourself um, 
having enough speed on a corner exit like right now. We've really got that second place MX-5 bearing down on us and it seems like he's attempting the move on the outside. I'm definitely not going to give in here and just break as late as I can. On the kerb. He's still on our left, and it seems that he's got us. So he has made the overtake. And we receive a slight tap from that, um, from that white MX-5. Now, I'm not sure if that was a clean... Um, I'm not sure if that was a clean overtake. It was uh, quite unexpected. I'm not really sure if that was an overtaking... Uh, an overtaking area or one that uh, an overtaking area that can be pulled off successfully I mean if that was a um, if we were in uh, an open wheel or op an open wheeler that may have uh, ended quite badly what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll have a look at that overtake at the end of the race see if it was um, see what happened but as you can see we are making up a little bit of ground here And a lot of oversteer as well we managed to keep the throttle in and uh, lose a lot of time there trying to be uh, a little bit too overconfident and um, losing a lot of ground so I guess what we're going to see now is whether I'm able to or see how fast I'm able to make up the uh, that lost uh, that lost ground so third lap third position we did start from third position so we are going to see a fight uh, right in front of our eyes between these two leading MX fights and it seems that the uh, the Y the, um, the Y MX5 has gone into the lead I'm not sure if that was a, uh, a lift by the uh, the purple by the purple MX-5. You're braking roughly at the 50 metre mark, turning in, trying to carry as much speed as possible. Really wide on the exit there and hopefully what's going to happen now is that these two cars are going to hold each other up a little bit, which might give us a, a, a bit of an advantage. really see how we're going to go. I guess the most important thing now is just consistency and uh, not letting nerves get the better of uh, get get the better of you in a situation like this. It's really really easy to just break, you know, a few meters later and it's just that uh, that difference can be the difference between, you know, making a corner nicely and uh, not making the corner at all so fourth lap third position we've got 11 um, 11 seconds um, to the car behind us we are managing to keep up with these two lead cars I still really can't help but think or wonder whether I'd um, whether I'd be able to keep that uh, that leading MX-5 behind me if I hadn't gotten uh, tangled up in the uh, the overtake that fight for uh, first position so here we go into the final corner a little bit wide there let's just see if we can keep the accelerator mashed and make up carry a lot of speed for this main straight making our way onto lap five six lap race seems we've already got two cars in the pits as well or are they just joining and the two lead cars fighting it out we've got the purple one on the outside what's going to happen here hopefully this isn't going to uh, end badly seems like they have cleanly through that corner that's another thing as well um, 
these minor rating servers um, do seem to produce quite a consistent level of clean driving and clean overtaking. So if you ever are wanting to um, find or attempt to find clean racing in a set of course, I definitely recommend you attempt to join and race in a minor rating um, class server. definitely think that purple MX-5 is quicker it just doesn't seem like he's got that extra little bit of pace to make the overtake what we'll probably find is best opportunity is really going to be into the first corner so here we are coming around the final corner onto the main straight let's see if he's got a run yes he has you can see him tucking in behind the slipstream and this is looking like a pretty decent lap to me as well that is a 12 12 6 now i know that the uh the purple mx5 marty has done um some seriously quick laps in this MX-5 uh, around this circuit. I think he has dipped into the low 11s, maybe an 11.2 or an 11.3. With that being said, managed to gain a bit of ground on this final lap. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how we go here. Are we gonna be able to make the overtake? Or are these two going to get tangled up? fighting with each other. My favorite part of the track now is fast right, left section, only requiring a little lift to get the front end tucked in and turning. This section flat out. Let's see if we'll make up any ground here. Is the most nerve-wracking part of a race the final few corners and you're just kind of wondering whether you're gonna pull off a move or whether they're gonna make an error and maybe hand you the win they are definitely slowing down now that they are uh, fighting with each other Going into the final corner, as you can see, the white MX-5 taking the inside line, covering the inside line. That might actually slow him down on the exit. The what? The purple MX-5 taking the wider line, and hopefully that might, might actually give him the better exit speed. But no, I don't think that's going to be enough. So there you have it. Six laps around Magello MX-5. I've managed to do well. I've managed to finish third place, which I'm not uh, not too fussed about it was a decent race anyway post race now we're gonna have a look at that uh, overtake by that white uh, mx5 i'm gonna ask you guys what you think of this move uh let me know if you think it was uh, fair having a look at it now i can kind of see that um, it wasn't as bad as I initially uh, thought it was. Um, it may have been a somewhat risky move. Um, you know what, maybe if it was me, I definitely would have not have attempted uh, that move just because it's, it's risky. Uh, it, it was a risky move, and as you can see, it, result, it did result in a contact. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this um, in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all again later.